Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. I've just edited two plan with me's, which is why when I just started this vlog, I first said, hello and welcome to another plan with me. It's not a plan with me. <laughs> this is a studio vlog. It is the week after I have finished Black Friday orders. So apart from catching up on social media, I'm kind of on top of things. I need to do new releases for this week. It is Wednesday. So like, I'm not like ahead, but I'm not feeling too behind. My cold sore is almost gone which is good very sick of it by now i'm also working on the mystery kit so it is the 13th today and i think the replacement advent thing is supposed to come like soon so i'm hoping i can hang on wait for that and then send that with this mystery but the tracking hasn't moved so i'm a little bit nervous that it's stuck but we'll keep an eye on that but otherwise the plan for today is to keep plowing through the mystery i am making good progress and I think about new releases for this week. I'd like to do some doodles. I think I've got some ideas. I want to do some like mixed doodle sheets of like some foods and like themed items. My battery just died so we're off to a great start. Um, but yeah, I'd like to do some themed doodle sheets. I'm definitely going to do food, planning and I don't know what else. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So I'm actually going to go and do a quick post run, just a small bag of orders that were due out. So I'll just drop them off. And then I actually think I'm going to finish collating some kits while I cut the mystery sheets that are like a little bit weird. Not like weird weird, but I can't just like leave them running and go and do something else because there's not that many. Like the washi sheet, I only have like, I don't know, like 12 of it and then I have to change it to a different one so it's not worth leaving it and doing a big job. So I'm going to sort of be on my feet collating kits while I go through those sheets. And then I think when I've got a run of like the glitter and box add-on or something that I've got loads of, I will probably do my plan with me because yesterday I got into quite a good flow with my other two plan with me so if I can get this one done I will be pleased. And we need to open this which is covered with like handle with care. It is my replacement guillotine blade which costs like £14 to ship. I don't know if it's because it's a blade. Um, I need to try and change that on my guillotine for the first time. Never done it before. I did email them and I was like do I need any tools? Like, is it going to be hard? And they were like, no, it comes with instructions, you should be fine. So fingers crossed, but we'll do that later today. So we're not having the best time. Um, it was quite difficult because the instructions in the replacement blade weren't included. So I emailed them and asked for the PDF and he only sent me the first page. So this is, no, he only sent me the second page. So this is page two. So my illustrations aren't like fully labeled. I'm missing page one, which I have now got. But in the meantime, we have just been trying to, we've done it all properly. We've done it all in the right order. And we're at the stage where we're supposed to be unscrewing these and they've all rounded like, it's such soft metal and we're only using like a manual screwdriver with the right head on it. It's not like the screwdriver's like skipped in the screws, it's just rounded them. I was going to say like maybe try with a flat head but that's how I've got rounded screws out before. So we just rang our brother-in-law who is an electrician and just like handy and he said if we bring it round he'll try and get the screws out but I'm really scared because obviously like I use this every day and like I need to use it like I've got stuff I need to cut like all the time. So, uh, not ideal, ironically, because the brand is called Ideal. It's like the least ideal guillotine I've ever used. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really annoyed because when I inquired about like the steps involved in changing the blade, I messaged the supplier of the blade and I was like, never done it before, any, any like advice, do I need any tools? And he was like, no specific tools. I know this isn't like a specialist set of tools, but we've had to get out screwdrivers, allen keys, spanners, like none of this I would have had without Tom. So it's now the next day and we have got the guillotine back up and running, but that was such a drama. We got in at like, I don't know what time it was, like nine, managed to put it back together. So our brother-in-law really struggled actually to get the screws out. He ended up, he tried, I don't actually know what he tried, like little screwdrivers. We ended up breaking two screwdrivers. In the end, it had to be angle grinded out. So we basically like had to cut through the screws. So this was the only screw that actually came out properly. And then all of the other three had to be cut out, 
which is really weird. I also have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this now because I can't put it in the bin like it's a massive blade. I'm going to screw it back to this so the thing it came on but this is the new bottom blade and we didn't end up swapping it out because those screws were rounding as well so I've just cleaned the old one and it is cutting really sharp really straight so obviously the bottom one isn't like super bad or it wouldn't be doing that. I bought this guillotine from Amazon and all Amazon can really do because obviously like, they're not the manufacturer is allow me to return it for a refund which to be fair they've said that it's fine and they will let me do that but i got this on amazon for only like 250 pounds and if i were to buy it new now it's like 450 pounds so i don't really want to do that because i would then be out of pocket if i had to repurchase it even from amazon it's 475. i did move his bed to be under this desk because it used to be kind of like further here and it was just getting in the way we were actually able to remove this extra piece so it connects to like a weird pulley system underneath the guillotine but this is meant to be here and this kind of like attaches to it because this moves out and this piece is meant to sit like this but it actually is like a catch tray for when you're trimming sheets of paper but because i don't really use the guillotine like that it just kind of got in my way so now i just have this piece to contend with which is much better. So yeah, I'm really glad that we are back up and running and we've got it working and cutting better, but I didn't get anything done yesterday that I wanted to. Aside from cutting mystery, because I just left that going. Haven't done any designing, didn't finish my plan with me. So today's gonna be busy and I really need to try and get a lot done. I'm gonna leave the plan with me for now because this is next, next week's plan with me. So it's not urgent. I'm gonna design and try and tidy the office because everything's a mess still. And these kits need to go into cellos and go away. So it's a bit later now and new releases are up but we have such a fun selection so there are two new journaling kits these are new year themed and i did plan to release them sort of two three weeks ago and they ended up just getting forgotten so those are available now a little bit last minute but better late than never we have two more valentine's weekly kits so much valentine's art this year so we have xoxo which is so cute i love the orange like there's actually orange in both of these kits so there's kind of a color comparison the last two colors in both kits are really actually quite similar so the top one is pillow talk and it's got like a dark red a bright pink and this one's got a bright pink and a greeny like like a lime green so i love both of those it's really going to be hard to pick my february kits and then finally we have a new monthly kit this is like a rose so this artwork came out last week in the valentine's day kits but i've done it in a monthly and you've got two sidebar options to choose from i also put a november mystery overstock i'm really behind on my mystery unboxings i need to try and prioritize that but um, if you want to see the November kit, I will show it in a couple of seconds. So if you don't want to see, look away now. But otherwise, this is the November kit. I am absolutely obsessed with it. So the vision for this was like old Hollywood black and white movies. And I think it is so unique. I love the monochrome. I've had so many messages as well asking about the overstocks. So these are up now. I have spent most of my day just doing boring admin stuff. And at the minute, I'm working on the PR team application, which is exciting. It will probably only be open for like a few days, so I don't think it will still be open when you see this because I think this vlog is actually going up like after Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, if it is. <laughs> I think it is. So when you see this, the new team will know who they are and we'll have like a new set of freebies in January, which I'm very excited about the seasonal ones. So they will be January, February, March, and then we'll change again, but like that's way off. So I'm hoping to finish that and post that today. And then I've also been working through premium matte upgrades on the cutter, and then I will cut new releases and I need to do some orders as well. I did get some happy mail from the Coffee Monsters Co. I've been waiting for this order. I started tracking it and there was like three tracking numbers. I don't know how it works when you like use the like shipping forwarding services like when the shops themselves do it it went from canada to the us with one tracking number and it went from the us to the uk with a different tracking number and then in the uk i got a final tracking number from royal mail so i didn't really know when to expect it so i just picked up a bunch of stickers and i'll show you what i got because i also ordered two sheets for sarah and Kat wanted the pin, which is so cute, um, but it's not over here. So um, I'll just show you what I got. But I got these little holiday stickers. I really love Helen's holidays. I got the other ones as well. I think these are the UK ones. Yep, so these are the UK specific ones. I got the best day ever. Because I really want some more like positive stickers. I have a lot of like grumpy ones. I got the meal prep. The accomplishment ones, I keep having to turn them around to see what they are because I can't see it in the viewfinder. I got the ducks in a row. I saw these a couple of months ago and loved them, but I didn't like need to place another order, so I waited. Then I got the blob mode one, which is just so funny. And I got the seventh anniversary sampler because I like to pick up the samplers to get like a range of different stickers that maybe I wouldn't always buy a full sheet of. I got the tea and gossip one for when me and Sarah go to Costa. Um, I got the parcel doodle one these little work ones so these i think are going to be really good for like shop tasks and i know they're like study ones as well it's like work and school doodles but i thought they would be good we've got a kitchen scenery one which i thought would just be useful for like meal prepping general cooking multitasking emojis overworked emojis and email emojis so I tried to be sensible and only pick up like stuff that I actually have gaps of in my collection. But I do also want to go and reorganize my doodles because I used removable matte labels to label the dividers and I should have used premium matte because a lot of them are kind of peeling off and I, ugh, it makes me cringe. <laughs> so I need to go and fix that as well, but I'm not doing that today. So it's Monday, normally I would have ended the vlog by now, but I want to show you what it's releasing on Boxing Day and the delivery's coming today. That was weird, I thought I just heard a noise and Tom's gone out. So yeah, I'll show you that when it arrives. Um, I can say, so basically, if you've opened your advent calendar like in order, you will know anyway, but spoiler warning if you want to turn off, but I think most people will know. Um, I'm doing foil next year, well this year, slash already right now in the advent. <laughs> I'm so excited. We've been working on the like overlay stickers for a while. Me and Kat have been like brainstorming and Kat's basically like part of the planner face furniture at this point. Um, but she helped me come up with ideas and we are doing planner face foil packs to start with, which are gonna be like your underlay overlay sets to go with the weekly kits. So I started off with four of them in the advent that matched the kits in the advent so they pair together well and I've got some like confetti anytime themed ones coming today. I'm gonna do a Boxing Day release of those along with a Boxing Day sale. So I think when you see this vlog it will be the 24th because Christmas is the Monday. So yeah, on the Tuesday, we'll be having a 20% off sale. I'll do some special little freebies and obviously the full new releases, but there's also gonna have been new releases on Friday. And I think that's gonna be like kits, doodles, and I'm gonna release some blank albums and a bunch of die cuts, like the X mystery die cuts, and maybe some new ones, I'm not sure. 
Um, I do still need to figure out die cuts on the graph tech, but it's been something that I've just put off. So I either do them on the silhouettes or I try and figure it out. I don't know if I've got time to do that this week. But the logic behind doing the die cuts and the blank albums is that I want you to be able to like stick a bomb a blank album. So I haven't filled mine. I basically got this far and haven't updated it. So I've got a bunch of die cuts that I've been buying that I need to stick on it. I've also got some vinyls. So this one was from A Mundane Life. Coffee Monsters Co, um, Grumpy Tortoise, this is one of mine. This was one I got from Silent Beauty Plans at Palantine's, like a little freebie, and Coffee Monsters again. So I'm gonna like try and cover this up with a few more. I've got some really cute ones um, from the mystery that I need to add to it. But I have got some of the four by six, like the smaller reusable albums that I'm gonna release at the same time. I don't have a ton but I think I have enough. But my logic with the small ones, well, with the big ones as well, on the foil pack sheet, so this is an example of one of the underlay sheets. You have a bunch of icons along the bottom as well as like your underlay. So you'd probably use all of these in a spread, but then you've got this sheet of icons and I'm thinking you can like decant them into reusable albums as you go if you want to use them because obviously like they're just plain icons like they're really usable and you probably want to save them. So that is what I plan to do with mine. I think I'm gonna, this is my like, one but I'm gonna start a small one for my foil bits. I'll show you the delivery when we get back but we are going to do a post run. I did manage to get the advent replacements in with the mystery so that's great. So I'm back from the post run. I'm so relieved that they came in good time and that my plan worked because I like partially packed the mysteries and I'd like separated the ones that still needed the foil and then having Tom pack them and me sort of put them in the envelopes it just was like a nice conveyor belt system but now I need to deal with the rest of the sheets so these are all of the new releases for Boxing Day I've got the confetti foil pack the uh, months so I need to take like a sheet from each so that I can do my photos and my new release video. I have changed my top because I got lasagna on it and I needed to stain remove it <laughs> and quickly put it in the wash. Um, so yeah, I need to open all the cling film. So I am getting the full manufactured if it wasn't clear <laughs> because I didn't make all this. Um, and they cling film it in in a lot of cling film and basically the only way I found to get into it is to cut it and I have no idea where I'm going to actually store all of this because we do need to like pre-make the bundles and then like maybe I can find somewhere like up here to put them because I do want them to be kind of easy to grab but this delivery was also a little bit stressful because it got stuck in China for like five days and luckily it just started moving again on its own like nothing had to happen but obviously I know it's Christmas so I think it's just like a busy time but Everything happens at like the worst moment. Like I really didn't want this delivery to be delayed because of having to send the replacements and I really wanted it to align with the mystery kit. But luckily it did, so I'm really happy about that. So I'll show you quickly. I will do a proper video like with the new releases, but I'll give you a quick look at what we've got. So this will give you an idea of the foil colors. They look really good in this light. I've actually been struggling to get the foil to show up well, especially on like plan with me's. So we have the hollow, the gold, the rose gold and the silver. And these are just sets of months. So these are compatible with my monthly kits and they're actually really similar to the black ones that I've got in shop. So this is the black version and I actually make this like a thinner like font because when it's black, it looks really like overbearing, but in the foil, it looks really pretty. So I kept it the original font weight. You probably wouldn't have ever known that I made this one a thinner weight, but I did. So these are gonna be releasing on Boxing Day and I just love them, they're so shiny. And this is probably like the best like example of the foil colors that I'm gonna be able to give you because in the foil packs, the foil is a lot more like delicate. So yeah, those are the four colors. And then we have the confetti foil pack. So I wanted to start with like a really good like basics range. So we have two sheets of underlays in the confetti pattern and this one is in hollow. We have the washi page. So this has the toolbox which fits my toolboxes specifically. 
There are two washi overlays. This is the 15 millimeter size, so you can cut it in half or use it with the add-on. We've got the date dots one through 31, and then a bunch of scripts. And these are just sort of the most popular scripts in the shop. So I thought they would work really well for the foil pack. And then we have two sheets of overlays. So it's the same pattern, but you can kind of change the arrangement of the boxes to create different like effects. So it's a really pretty delicate confetti effect and you've got it on the headers as well. And then along the bottom, there are little like clusters of confetti. So you could put these on your full boxes or like in the deco section, just anywhere you want a bit of extra sort of individual sparkle. So the foil pack has two overlays, the washi page and two of the underlays, and that makes the five page pack. So alongside these, I do have the advent foil releasing as extras. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it back in different foil colors yet, or if I will just leave those designs as the ones that they were in for the advent, but I will add the ones I've got to the shop. So there is a set for spring, summer, autumn and winter. I'm going to leave this vlog here because I need to start the next one but as a little reminder on Boxing Day there'll be 20% off the foil is releasing there will have been new releases on Friday anyway so I do have a busy week ahead of me but I'm very excited and I'm so glad to finally like have this out in the open and be able to talk about it because obviously the people that had the advent knew maybe if you were super eagle-eyed you will have seen that I actually used some of the underlays in some plan with me's but I haven't mentioned it at all but yeah I'm very excited to be talking about it so anyway thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful christmas if you're watching this when this video goes live or i hope you've had a wonderful christmas depending when you're watching this but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video which i think will be in the new year i think it'll be on new year's eve but i'll wish you a happy new year as well anyway <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching bye